But we got that top done though. All right, we're going on a field trip. All right, buckle up. We're going on a ride. Now, personally, I think we're in like a car bubble here. Car payment bubble. Bubble, double bubble. Who's blowing the bubbles? Cash car versus car note. You guys already know if you're new here, cash car all day. But let's see what you guys got to think before we really have some fun here. If you have a car note, tell me something because I own a cash car and every time I see a light go off on my dashboard, I get pissed off. I get physically, emotionally, mentally pissed off. I've had this car for four years. It is very old, you know? Um, no, it's not older than me. It's just about, but I am getting to a point where I am at a crossroads and I am debating on whether or not I should just ride it out until I can't ride it out no more or just suck it up and get the car now. Please give me your opinions, please. Okay, before we go to the comments on that video, Let's go to my actual daily driver. It's funny she thinks a 2009 is old. Technically it is. This car right here is uh, almost 40 years old. It's a 1985. So let's go hop in the 2007 and uh, let's talk about it. Let's have some fun. Now this is obviously not my daily driver, okay? Although I would love it to be. Look at them rims right there. You can see your fucking grandma in those. Now this is my daily driver. Hey, how you doing? Now, I'm not the only one that thinks we're in like kind of like a 2008 car bubble here, okay? So before we get this field trip moving, fucking dinging. Now this is a 2007, and you're probably wondering, Jack, why do you have two cars? Well, first of all, both of these cars combined cost under $20,000. Let's just get that out of the way. And I bought them within five years, okay? I didn't just go out and go, ah, give me two of them. But anyways, really set the tone here, and then we're gonna go to a couple dealers and really like paint the picture, okay? These cars are milking people dry. They don't realize it. It's like the 2008 housing crisis. Everyone's getting approved for a loan to buy a new car, and nobody can fucking afford it. Nobody can fuck. For young people, you need to All right, he just goes on a rant, but he's not tripping. All right, let's party. We're gonna hit a couple of dealerships and then I'm gonna show you what I kind of think um, we're gonna be seeing. I think we're gonna be seeing a lot more of what I'm driving on the road. Like right here, this was yesterday, just two back-to-back -back cars. Like one was probably early 90s, maybe late 80s, look like early 90s, and then the other one was definitely 90s, like a station wagon or some shit. Um, but I see a lot more, that's all, <laughs> no, this is hilarious. I saw this chick the other day, she had like bungee cords on the hood, like holding the hood down. I was like, no, but you gotta commend that, man. It's, it's, hey, I guess people are gonna learn the hard way. All right, where are we going? Now, we're about to go down a spot right now where it's like a car dealership lane, right? In West Palm Beach, Florida, off Okeechobee. Here's the Audi dealership right here. But watch how many fucking new cars there are. I'm actually confused on who's buying these things. Just. There are just dealerships upon dealerships just stacked with cars. Like, I mean, it, it doesn't fucking stop. I mean, look at this. Rooms for sale? Come on. Who's my... I'm just kidding. All right, we got the Chevy dealer, Maroney. Who are you going to call? Maroney. All right. A lot of cars. A lot of cars. We got the Hyundai. Got the Jap Trap. All right. Now, they're just loaded to the gills here. Right to the brim. Call this place Brim Cincinnati. And look at all these cars. It doesn't stop. Got the Lambo. Who's buying all these Lamborghinis? I want to know. We got more coming up here, but my point is, is I'm just, I'm confused. Maybe this has always been going on. Maybe I'm just stupid. I'm not sure. Could be a combination of both. But it seems like it's getting to a point where like, if there's all these bad loans out here, I honestly think people are gonna go back to driving cars like this. Hold on, we got more cars coming up. Drive time, holy shit. Boom, 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 we got the Porsche dealer. Lot of Porsches, lot of Porsches. Let's not forget the Bentley, Bentley dealer. Everyone needs a Bentley, okay? How could I live without my Rolls Royce? Okay, got BMW. You guys, anybody new here? You know I fucking hate BMWs. Pieces of shit. Mini Cooper. That's stylish. People like that. 
people really. But look at all these cars, man. Like, who is buying all of these fucking cars? I really want to know. It keeps going. We got Volvo right over here, okay? It doesn't stop. The party does not stop, okay? It keeps going. Don't forget about uh, Volkswagen, okay? You've got Subaru. You got love a Subaru, all right? What else we got? GMC, Buick. You got, I mean, dude, it's just... I really don't know who is buying all these fucking cars. I really don't. We got to make a pit stop, but I do have an idea of who's buying these. Today's video is actually sponsored by McKeb's Bagel and Deli. It's my local spot that I go to on a daily basis. Family run business, okay? They got one in West Palm and one in Royal Palm Beach. You could also check out their app where they got the awesome breakfast sandwiches. Everything's made in house. Um, I go to the one in West Palm right off of Okeechobee Military, right across the street from the Taco Bell. Just ignore all the other fast food places and support local. You could use their app. You could just go on there, ding, order your stuff, and just pick it up. Um, you could even call in your orders if you want, if you don't want to wait in line. If you go in there, mention my name, just say Jack sent me, and they'll give you a free uh, soft drink or a basic coffee. Okay, They do have lattes and all that stuff, but uh, support local. And If you don't live in Florida, start going to a local spot. Or don't. I really don't care. I'm just kidding. Support my cubs. So back to this car mechanic guy. I like what he has to say. He's going to say it again. Almost like the 2008 housing crisis where they're just kind of giving out loans to people who don't have any money um, to be able to buy new cars. Um, you know, all these loan guys and givers and shit are just giving poor people uh, loans that they can't afford to pay uh, oh. to buy brand new cars. And they're giving them at like 20% interest rates. <laughs> so basically poor people and extremely rich people. Now, I'm in the middle. I don't even know if I'm middle class. Make 100 grand a year, but I don't even think that's good enough. Now, here's a guy that's been popping up on my timeline a lot. Um, this dude's fucking hilarious, but these are the kind of people that it's just, you're just giving out loans, like just, here you go. It's, no, this is awesome. This guy's the best. Steve-O got me rolling. <laughs> What's going on, folks? It's your boy Steve. I got me rolling. Today, I got Mr. Rodriguez approved on this 2020 Lincoln MKZ. Mr. Rodriguez, how was your experience here today? Great. Got me rolling off. Congratulations, no, my man. got me rolling okay. off. Skate. What's going on, folks? It's your boy Steve. I got me rolling. Today, I got my man Anthony here approved on this 2021 GMC with only $500 down. Anthony, how was your experience? It was good. It was fast. You know, I got in and out. In and out, like... I'm 20, no big deal. I'm not trying to roast this guy, but this is this is what's going down. It's it, it keeps going. Like this guy has so many. What's going on, folks? It's your boy Steve O got me rolling. Today I got my man D here approved on this 2022 Dodge Challenger RT. First time buyer, only two thousand dollars down. D, how was your experience here today? Really good. Y'all gotta tap in, bro. I'm gonna get you approved. Good, good. Y'all gotta tap in. I'm not trying to make fun here. It's kind of hard not to. Look at what all these guys have in common. Look at this, $962 a month. Look at him, fucking look at him. Are you guys in the back seat looking at him? Hold on, this is what they all have in common though. Look at him, look at him, 900 a month. Do I have to say it again? Look at him. Now, I know these are young kids here, okay? And, but the number one thing in common here is they're fucking young, all right? I'm not saying old people don't do this, but generally the older you are, the more money you make. I, I didn't make it up. That's usually how it works, but just look at them, okay? But here's the thing. This guy's only doing 700 a month. That's not bad. That's fair. But here's the deal. It's a fucking basic-ass Lincoln. Could you, like, when you're driving down the street and you see this car... Are you thinking to yourself, 700 a month? Anybody, I'm getting fucking pissed. All right, now, oh, hold on. But this guy kind of nails it on the head right here. All right, let's go for a drive. This dude goes, the car market is not cooked or dead. Uh, people are just dumb and don't know how to be shot, smart shoppers. I have found cars 
in secondhand dealerships that go for as low as 2,500 to 6,000 with no, wait, uh, range. They offer financing with people with no credit at all. Also, fake, okay, he keeps going here. All right, but we're actually gonna go to a place like that and we're gonna see what you could get for that price. And I got bare of bad news for a lot of people. You're not getting financed on a fucking old ass car for six grand. You're just not, it's not gonna happen. Like, if you don't have six grand, I mean, but that's what's happening here. People don't have the fucking money. The point about that is being, is that um, I think a lot of people, I don't, I don't know how far it can go. I mean, what if 2008 happens all over again, which I don't wanna get negative here, all right? Okay, I like to have fun, I like to have a good time. <sighs> Take a hit, metaphorically speaking, okay? Um, but dude, if the economy if the economy takes a shit and all these people are stuck with these astronomical car payments, um, I guess become a tow truck driver. If you, that's going to be a good career coming up, I I believe so. But we're about to pull up to this dealer that I've covered before, probably like six months ago, a year ago, where they range from you know three thousand to seven thousand dollar cars. But this is the issue right here. Now this is all approved MotorWorks. I've actually bought a car from them. This is kind of what you get right here. Seven, seven racks for a Cadillac, chipped ass paint, you know. Kia, fucking eight grand. You know, who wants to drive these? Nobody. Do you want to drive this? I don't. Would that make you happy? Probably not. Four grand. I mean, come on. Nobody wants this. It's convertible though, nine grand. The Lincoln will run forever, but I mean, look at this thing. Look at the headlights on this thing. Looks like I pissed on them. Look at that paint job. Holy shit. You know, Mazda, six grand. You get the point. Look at this blue piece of shit. Look at this. You want to pull up in that to your date? Probably not. No. Honda, probably most best car on the lot so far. Probably the cleanest one. Seven grand. But who's got seven grand? You got seven grand? Suzuki. I don't even think they make those anymore. I could be wrong. Seven grand. Toyota. Look at the headlights. Like, who's peeing on this? Five, five grand. Look at this, the Fiat, oh no. Yo, picture me rolling. But you guys get the point. Whole bunch in the back, same thing. All the SUVs, nobody wants them. It's entirely too windy outside. I'm trying this new vlog style, make it fun, you know, for me and for you. But honestly though, how many of you guys were gonna go buy one of these cars for seven grand with the paint missing off? You're gonna, for real, pull up in the convertible PT Cruiser? That ain't me, baby. That's that's not it. I'll buy the Honda. The Honda look okay. I'm sure. I didn't even look at the back. It's probably fucked. Bumper's probably dented. So I do get it. I kind of do. It's like, what are you going to do? Go drop eight grand on this? Or you could do $700 a month and drive something you like. So it does make sense. I do think it's going to backfire on a lot of people, though. Like, Maybe I'm tripping. Let's take this back to the house. It's way too windy outside. All right, so back to the lady from the, the beginning of the video, right? Team car payment or team no car payment. Let's see what these people, these strangers on TikTok had to say. This chick goes, I'm riding mine till the wheels fall, fall off. That car note and full coverage insurance that comes with it is not worth it. I agree with them. Uh, here's another one. I just want to preference by saying I'm not really hung up on the cosmetic issues. Okay, no one gives a shit. That's most people's uh, priority though. How do I look rolling down the road? Do I look good? <laughs> Stop. Uh, this person goes, imagine the light going off and still having a car payment. Classic. Didn't think about that one. Person goes, go new. Reliability is a must for me. Okay, that's uh, that's like the, the classic, but here's the problem. No, people can't afford to go new, or maybe they can, I don't know. <clears throat> this person goes, typically I'm a cash person, but I got a really good deal on a car, $300 a month and $180 in insurance. Yeah, that's like fucking miracle on ice. He goes, it really depends on the car. I'm in school and I just recently became gay. I don't just like men though, I like women. All right, I'm just playing. 
my bad. <laughs> I go, uh, I got a car note because the amount of money plus stress of having a cash car was not worth it. Like you stated, I have to make it work. Uh, okay, but like, let's do some basic math here. Even if your car payments are 500 a month, which is like standard, we saw the, 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 the Steve, the Steve, Steve roll with it guy, uh, 900 a month, even 500 a month, that's $6,000 a year. You're telling me your car is having $6,000 worth of repairs a year? <laughs> right. And goes, keep that cash car. I put 5K down on a newer car and the transmission failed in seven months. I've actually had that happen to me. Now, here's the thing with a lot of these, um, a lot of these people that are getting these cars. A lot of these financed cars are not under warranty. So things can still go wrong. Like... And it, just because it's new doesn't mean like, I, this MacBook's a year old, the battery went. You get what I'm saying? Anyways, they go, imagine not having a car, but they still expect the car note and insurance every month. Don't do it. And that's more of what people are doing. Um, most people, they're ditching the car payments. Let's go over here real quick. So let's go back to Steve got me rolling. Now, here's what I really think. I think that the car bubble is probably going to pop and a lot of poor suckers, okay, that went to a guy like this. Not everybody's like this, but this is how a lot of these car salesmen look at you and people like me. They really don't give a shit if we can afford it or they know that we're probably going to get repoed in a, in a month or not a month and by next year, you're fucked right in the butt. Bend over daddy. Um, but this is how a lot of them look at it because they get big commissions. So that's all they really care about. But this is, this is, he literally posted the same guy. Steve got me rolling. Oh. This one goes, when you get the drug dealer approved without proof of income. Just like that, I made two grand. The other guys looked at me like I just discovered fire. <laughs> you know what? Hey, get your money. I'm not going to hate on somebody making money. Uh, I'm actually not hating on people have car payments. It's almost like we're kind of forced into it, but there's the other side of the coin. We're also going to be forced into these older cars. Right here, team, team no car, team no, uh, team no car note. That's hard to say. Team no car note. Team no car note. Anyways, but this is a big thing going on, and I think this is going to become more and more popular. I don't care if my car sound like a bag of chips coming down this road is paid off and I'm not getting a new one I'm gonna ride this thing until the wheels fall off and then I'm gonna get some new wheels and I'm gonna put it back on and I'm gonna drive until those fall off see another one but these are like countless on TikTok when you choose no car payment and they're rolling around like a year 1999 or like me a 2007 you know, this is an old forerunner here, right? Here's another guy. This dude's got way better interior. He's got that blue, that blue shag with the roll down window, crank me down. Picture me rolling. Um, but I see this going on. This guy sent this in on Instagram. Who sent this in? Hold on. We're winding it down here. Uh, from Adrian R. This one was funny. So this girl says she stopped talking to me because my car too old. I need a new car. I ain't even mad though. Cause that just let me know she's young minded. Cause when you older. Paid off sounds so much better than brand new. I swear to God. I I agree with the guy, but at the same time, um, you know, older people with money, they're going to tell you the same shit, though. They're going to be like, dude, you need a reliable car. Just get the car. Um, there's two teams of people. But unfortunately, I think a lot more people are going to be riding around team no car payment in the next, like, two years. Uh, I, I think I made a video about this like six months ago. You know, I may be early to the game, uh, but I don't think I'm wrong. Um, and, but then on the other side of the coin, it's like you're almost forced into it. And then here's what's going to be kind of like the, the, the kicker with all of this is when you can't afford your insurance, you're going to give up on something. What are you going to give up on your car payments or the insurance first? This guy goes, everywhere you go, no tags and no insurance. Why do we have to pay and they don't? Uh, where's the Denver police? This is probably going to become more and more common. Um, I was in an accident recently. No insurance, no driver's license. Dude didn't even own the car. Totaled my car. I know. He T-boned me. 
And then this dude right here, he's got the uh, private traveler. This guy's like, I'm not doing any of it. And he's driving an older truck. He's like, I'm not playing ball. But that's hilarious. Like, that's where it's come to, though. Um, I don't know. You guys leave your thoughts. Um, I don't want a bunch of people to just lose their cars. But, like, dude, they are kind of just handing out these, you know. <laughs> I mean, you saw the guy earlier, that Steve dude. Steve got me rolling. His TikTok's just full of them. Just, and everybody's under the age of 25, too. It's just like, whew, whew, whew. that guy's probably making a killing. He's probably just rape, raping it in. Um, God, solid talk. You guys leave your thoughts. Check out the second channel or don't. Um, don't forget to support your local coffee shops. Um, support local businesses. And, and when you are buying a car, good luck. <laughs> you guys leave your thoughts. Solid talk. That was fun.